Hello and welcome. Today I've got a Lazy Boy rocker recliner on the bench. I've already removed the back, turned the bottom of the chair upside down, and removed the floor base as well. And I'll link to those two videos that already show you how to do that procedure if you want to check that out. Today what we're going to do is reattach this loose rocker block. Now the rocker block is a curved piece of wood that attaches to the inside of both arm frames and the wooden floor base rests against these curved surfaces and that's what allows the chair to rock. I'll show you one up close here. There's a pre-drilled hole towards the end of each block where they install dowels and towards the middle here you'll see three small holes where the rocker springs are attached. Now these other holes are where someone tried to reattach this block from the outside when it started to come loose to keep it from coming off. So if you have a loose rocker block, the first question to ask is, can you reattach this or not? Well, if it's largely intact and undamaged, yes you can. You can reattach these. But if it's damaged, like this one, split, no you can't, obviously. Normally you would order this replacement part and install a new one. However, about two or three years ago, um, the last time I tried to re request a set of these, I was told they're no longer available separately. So if you have a rocker block that's damaged and you can't reuse it, can't reinstall it, the only way to repair this issue now is to order an entire new arm frame. The new arm frame will come with one of these already attached and installed. However, replacing an arm frame is obviously a totally different procedure and more involved than just reattaching this rocker block. But if you need a replacement block, I would recommend you try to order a set from Lazy Boy anyway, in case they do again become available at some point in the future. The worst case scenario is they'll tell you, no, you have to order an arm frame. So Lazy Boy parts, to order those, go through the manufacturer or any authorized Lazy Boy dealer. So hopefully when I get this one off, it won't be damaged and I can show you how to reattach one. And that's coming up next. Okay, I'm going to start by completely removing this rocker block, which is still held on by a screw or two that's installed from the outside of the arm frame. To access those screws, I'm going to have to take loose the bottom of this outside arm panel and peel it back. So let's do that next. the bottom arm panel that I had to loosen up to get access to the rocker block. You can see here, here are the two dowel pins and inside that there are three fasteners that originally held the block. Often they fall out or snap off. See this one's just hanging. So I'll need to finish removing these three to completely remove the block. So let's do that. rocker block and it's not split or damaged we'll be able to reuse this and reattach it. Next I'm going to remove these three screws to remove the rocker spring but I'm going to leave these spacers in. The next step is to knock out what's left of these broken dowel pins. I'm just going to use a bolt, anything that's smaller in diameter than the original hole that was drilled for the dowel pin. The 
this one I couldn't knock out, so we're going to have to drill it out. I've got a wood drill bit that's smaller in diameter than the original hole that was drilled for the dowels. Once you've drilled through the center of your dowel pin, you'll want to use a sharp tool like this scratch awl to dig the remaining dowel pin out. usually see on these we got the two dowels out next we're going to take some 100 grit sandpaper and remove this old glue residue from the back side Next I'm going to sand off the glue residue where the rocker block was mounted to the inside arm frame and I'm going to use 100 grit paper for that as well. Prep work is done. We've got our rocker block sanded and also its position where it's going to mount on the inside arm frame. I've gone ahead and installed some wooden dowels. The size required is 7 16th of an inch and I use these that are two and a half inches long and I get them at my local home improvement store. So let's dry fit this, make sure everything fits properly. Now that's how it's installed by the manufacturer, with a dowel pin in each end and three fasteners that are fastened from the outside of the arm frame through the plywood and into the rocker block. And if this is how you want to mount this and repair this, you're good to go. You're ready to start applying glue and the clamps. And for a long time, this is how I repaired these as well. But I do a little bit different these days. Instead of dowel pins, I use bolts with locking nuts. This bolt I think is three and a quarter inches long. I use a washer at each end and one locking nut. The advantage to using these bolts, there are two actually. One, obviously they're stronger than wooden dowel. They're not going to break off. And the other is when you install these and tighten them, they act as clamps. So you already have a clamp on each end of the rocker block. As far as the thickness for the bolts, I get the largest size that the hardware store has that will fit into the pre-drilled holes for the dowels. Now there's going to be a little play and you want to be sure that you mount this in the exact position that it needs to be. So if you're using the wooden dowels, it already is in the exact position. But if you're going to use the bolts, you need to mark this position before you install your bolts. So let's do that. reference line that I can use to make sure I get it in its proper position. So let's glue it and put it in. I got toward the end of shooting this video and I noticed that I left a part out, the part where I glue and attach the rocker block. I actually finished that repair and when I was checking the block on the other side I noticed it was loose. So here we are a day later and I get to show you how to glue and attach this block. I use Titebond wood glue I'm not being compensated to say that. This is just the product I use. 
I'm going to put a thin, even layer on this side of the block. I'm going to use my reference line here, attach it with the bolts, get it lined up properly, and then put a clamp in the middle. I added a couple of screws as well from the outside of the arm frame into the rocker block. These are Lazy Boy Torx head screws. They have a pan head and they're about an inch and a quarter long. Once the glue is set up, we take the center clamp off. Then we reattach the upholstery and reinstall the base and the rocker springs. I'm not going to show that here because I have some more work to do on the mechanism of this chair. But if you want to see that procedure, I'll provide a link to my video how to, how to install and remove Lazy Boy rocker springs. And that includes spring and base removal and installation. Okay, one final tip on this procedure. I tell all my customers that I do this repair for, sure, using the bolts makes this stronger than it was originally but that doesn't make it indestructible. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.